Hey everyone, welcome back to Preventing Taiwanese President's Assassination, the game. Fucking, we all just spawn out of the ether. Murp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. Did I even get a checkpoint? Or do I have to go through that fucking whole scaffolding? God damn. We knew you were coming. Here. Assholes. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. How am I supposed to get over there? Come on now, you can give me a checkpoint. Sun's coming onto the stage. It's a straight shot from where you are. I didn't think you were one to hide, dang. In your big opportunity. Show yourself. No, it ends here. Your end. It will be over soon. <laughs> Take your fucking ching chong bing bong karate champ bullshit. Wait, he has a cloaking device? Charging. I can slow time down, bitch! 
Your fucking derpula, derpula powers are no match against me. Finish it. Did you really think I'd let you get away with this? I might not have been able to stop you, but my people will make you pay for killing Sun. The hell are you talking about? My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Sun. Funny, my sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin, oh shit. No. Damn it, I don't see anybody. The fuck? I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had on the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out. And they're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Copy that. Omen, we've got trouble coming in fast. I'm guessing you want to get to the bottom of this as much as I do. Yes. There's a fucking Let's derpula? Working for her son? Teach me your mist powers, you piece of Can shit! I dumb question? Yes. What is your second one? Why didn't you try to kill President Sung? Why would I kill a man who has been like a father to me? You're a double agent? For how long? All my life. And is there any chance you're going to share this sweeping tale of honor and betrayal? We are in the business of secrets, Thornton. I do not share mine. Oh, come on. There's got to be a juicy story in there somewhere. My motivations are my own. That is all you need to know. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an... Anonymous source. He survived. I'm glad the information I passed him did some good at least. Well, shit, I've been killing your fucking vampire thralls this entire time. And it turned out that. Fuck! Dra Chinese Dracula worked for that guy all along. In exchange for helping Hong Shi. Thornton gained the existence of the White Oak Mountain Triad as backup for this mission. Agent Thornton's connection with Albatross let him draw on the support of the D-22 cell to preside security coverage. Agent Thornton fought Chinese Dracula throughout the Memorial Hall before defeating the Chinese agent. Unfortunately, as Thornton incapacitated Dang, the actual assassin shot President Sung. President Sung survived the assassination attempt. Agent Thornton's intervention had convinced him to wear body armor during his speech. The lack of increased security among the crowd, however, coupled with the pro-separatist rhetoric, sparked riots throughout the city and increased tensions between Taiwan and China. <clears throat> Yet I'm pretty sure him dying wouldn't have helped either. Tragedy was averted today when an assassination attempt on Taiwanese President Ronald Sung proved unsuccessful. Government spokesmen say the president was warned about the attempt earlier this week by an anonymous source, which convinced him to wear a bulletproof vest during his speech. The president was taken to Taipei City Hospital, where he is reported to be in stable condition. News of the president's survival was not enough to quell riots that broke out shortly after the attack. Police say instigators within the crowd convinced spectators that the attack was part of a Chinese plot, which sparked the riot that has so far killed 23 people. Heck, calling Thornton. Come in, Thornton. Yeah, Heck, I'm here. Just a heads up, Mike. There's some folks out there that really hate you, pal. Tell me something I don't know. So this VCI comes to me, and he says to me, Steve, I got a proposition for you. I always figured VCI as the offer you can't refuse types. So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck. This guy says to me, Oh, God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kind of like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> Shouldn't you have stabbed him to make sure he got the point? I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself. So I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I want to lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike. 
searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. The nature of his involvement remains to be seen. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets, an assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was gonna be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believed the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? What can I say? The guy appreciated my style. You have a knack for engendering trust. A useful skill for an intelligence agent. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about, then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And we rename egg rolls Freedom Rolls. Something like that. Freedom Press! Freedom Cabbage. Mike. Is it odd seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war. Not yet. First, they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey, they haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you, or kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. Then I say we bring them down before they get the chance. They don't know about you, Mina. And they certainly don't know me. It's more than... No, it is that simple. Trust me. And if they've got Halbeck on their side, then they're doubly screwed. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Mike, I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike, about Madison and Rome? I... That's behind me. Endurance bonus! Alright, let's bump polygon models. I didn't mean to put you in danger. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Well, that's pretty insulting. What, do I have halitosis? I didn't mean that part. Oh, good kind of experience. My feelings. Suppose you already have a plan. Save the day? Somehow. But first I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy, and prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. 
If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. I don't want you going back there. Chances are they know about you. And if so... All right. There's another safe house I can hide out in until this blows over. But this could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III is it on the horizon. A recent World War III? Well, first, I gotta get ready for war! Get ready for war! Look at war, we got run! War. War. You know, I want beardy war. I don't know if I want beardy war. That kind of war? No, we're gonna go beret war. What kind of beard do I need for war, though? Full beard? A big old mm, full beard? No, 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 no. We gotta go. No, we gotta go groom beard. Groom beard. There's eyewear. Let's see here. Yeah, no aviators. Uh, beard. The same thing, just get some beard shake. Yeah, then we're going to beard some more. Uh, beard, nah, but she, yeah, yeah, full beard. Yeah, yeah, we're we're not in the third world country, so go get a decent beard going on. Yeah, beard. And, uh, if I could, I'd take Captain Price's mustache, but that ain't in the game. Alright, who we got here? Z! Oh, Michael, I recently got word that I'm being reassigned to some undisclosed location. I'm told I'm, I'll have to be sedated and transit to and from assignment so as to maintain secrecy. And to add insult to injury, they're only paying me double my normal rent for all this inconvenience. What a mess. Anyway, the thought of being helpless and blindfolded made me think of you. How are you, darling? Let's see. I think my helpless and blind grandmother. Uh. Let's see. I could track your signal and kick down the front door, at which point I'd be more than thrilled to- yes. I'm gonna go be a professional on this one. Sahid, a meeting. Mr. Thornton, when we last spoke, I gave you my solemn promise that I would obtain further information in exchange for my life. I said we would meet again, and I promised I would not hide, so I propose we meet in person on neutral ground. There and then I will divulge what I know. Hmm. I'll spare you any pleasantries. The Chinese secret police suspect there is an agency known as Alpha Protocol, all operated by American agents, but without the official public backing of the U.S. government. I say suspect because there has been no confirmation. Attached to the information I could find on the matter, no doubt you will find this information to be of use. Okay, Chinese Dracula. I'd rather know how to mist form, but whatever. Ah, I have two important news. I totally did it. Two chicks at once. Hell's yeah! What are you up to? My contact's been asking me for info on the big old Michael F. Thornton. What is your middle name anyway? I got stoned off my ass, and the Minotaur told me it was Finnegan. Uh, but I doubt the credibility of his argument. So yeah, I guess the Russian, the Euros, and the Chinese, a ton of agencies are looking out. There are looking out of a Thornton matching your ugly mug. Don't worry, it's me. Uh, we got way back. Remember that time I told you about two chicks at once? Anyway, sounds like you've been a busy boy. Drop me a line sometime. Hmm. Congratulations on your conquest, and I'm sure the ladies involved were of questionable breeding and refinement. 
Uh, let's see. I owe my former employer a visit, and it's likely to turn to violence. It means you're the natural choice for... Uh, that's banter. Wow, two ladies simultaneously. Did they collectively weigh less than 600 pounds? Getting out the subject of fat chicks, I need a favor, if you're willing. I need to pay my Uncle Sam a visit. Problem is, I don't know exactly where the reunion will take place yet. And I don't think I can take you with me. I'm going to send you instructions on tracking my location via my PDA, which I'll leave at a prearranged location. If you can follow the instructions on it, I can guarantee you a veritable buffet of maiming. Think about it. Yeah, that, that seems better. Ah, Mina. Intercept Metal of Sense Leland. Uh, Mr. Leland, I've run the numbers and we're short of our projections for this quarter. Our stock price is rebounding, but we've been unable to return to last year's high. Investor confidence is dwindling and we're in no position to report why so much money has been taken out of our Western and Eastern General Funds. I remain rather optimistic. We've created for ourselves a good deal of fertile soil in Russia, Italy, and Taiwan. Sure, we've had a few... Threads unraveled, but such is the cost of doing business. The EU is a small push away from Patriot Act style panic. Moscow's underworld remains a profitable, even if unstable, cash crop, and the Sung incident has turned Taiwan into a wellspring of defense contracts. As per your request, I moved the sum you requested for your personal security entourage. Though I regret to inform you that I could not fulfill some of the personnel and hardware requests included in your missive. Apologize for the inconvenience. Da -da 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 -da. Trapped in Taipei. Believe it or not, I'm still in Taipei. I'm guessing you got out. I can't believe Sung survived getting shot. I guess he was paranoid enough to wear a vest. I bet good money whatever group of persons behind us will try again. And next time, aim for the head. Not surprisingly, he's been keeping out of public appearances, not just because he's worried about assassins. The riots are out of control, and there's too much going on to leave right now. I've never seen things so tense. They're shutting down sections of the city, and there's a curfew in effect. People are worked up, and they're eager to lay blame even before all the facts are in. The body count has risen from initial reports, 30 dead as of today, more wounded, and any chance of peaceful demonstration are remote. Whatever happens here, I'm going to start a chain re it's going to start a chain reaction in Asia. I can feel it. Uh, let's see. Mr. Leland, I just predicted the People's Republic of China is a glut of U.S. dollars and they're paying handsomely for weaponry. The Taiwan government can't step to the same price, but we've given them a discount, and in doing so, I think we bypassed the bidding war for their highway reconstruction contract. Attached is a list of itemized sales. We've gone to great lengths to make sure we're selling weapons with different ammunition requirements. If, when the fighting breaks out, we don't want them scrounging each other's ammo. We want them coming back to us for more bullets. If Bef Best Friend is a success, we should look into selling the service of military advisors to both sides, obviously. I'm suggesting we step up our foreign language training so we'll have a supply to match the demand. Miss Lake, I found some dirt on Helbeck that might make for interesting headline news. Seems Helbeck is selling weapons to both the People's Republic of China as well as Taiwan. Since the only thing more profitable than selling weapons is selling weapons to both sides in a conflict. I don't know if, there's actually, if that's actually illegal or just morally suspect, but I'm sure the Taiwanese and Chinese media outlets would love to hear about all this. Do do do. Mailer demon. Emails. Oh, the CIA listening po post. Pete, you wanted the numbers in that ride in Taipei? Well, PRC isn't talking, so I had to pull estimates from the hospitals. We have at least 100 dead and over 300 wounded. That's leaving out three hospitals that wouldn't even report numbers. Three Americans were killed. <coughs> Students studying abroad at the time. Hopefully that's the extent of it, but there might be more reported. One was beaten badly and bled to death. Another lit on fire. A third got off lucky with a single blow to the head that caused internal decapitation. Needless to say, this is going to be a big story in the States. In other news, Sung is officially alive, I confirm that. They're not just playing the Castro game and pretending the leader is still alive to keep up appearances. <clears throat> well, there ain't shit there. So, do I only have... Ah... Well, let's go see if we can get our dick wet again. 
You receive a call from Scarlet Lake. Meet up with her and see what she wants, and pass along evidence of Halbeck's involvement to her, to her for safekeeping. I mean, we got the endurance boost from Mina. Time to go get the endurance Scarlet? boost from Scarlet. Hopefully. Your door was open. You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. But steps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? Something wrong? If so, maybe I can help. Wrong? I don't know, Mike. You seem to be a... complicated person. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. Contacts? So you've been checking up on me? I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the U.S. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. Have you ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. I accidentally discovered something in Saudi Arabia I shouldn't have. Something that could ruin Halbeck. What did you find out? I found they'd been selling weapons to Al Samad, and I got proof. Is that why you're here? I don't trust anyone else with it. And if something happens to me, then the world needs to know. It's that bad, huh? Pretty bad. I'll make sure it gets where it needs to go. Are you going to be all right? I have no idea. Do you need to leave right now? No, I can stay. For a little while if you need me to. Considering I might not see you again, I'd like that. The world can wait, man. I need all the fucking shield power I can get! And experience. As added insurance before surrendering himself to Alpha Protocol, Agent Thornton contacted Scarlet Lake and agreed to provide her with information damaging to Halbeck. Meeting her at her hotel room, Scarlet and Thornton exchange information. Agent Thornton spent the night in Scarlet's hotel room before surrendering himself to Alpha Protocol. Details of... Uh-oh. Whew. Whew. Okay. That... Had me a little... So is Mina pissed? Ah. Wow, where'd you find this? I'm... Actually, I'm sure if you told me, you'd have to kill me. I'll give my editor a call. Think if I hurry, I can get this print piece circulated around the Pacific Rim. Should make for an interesting read, that's sure. Mm. Michael, I'd love to help you, but I'm actually leaving in a matter of minutes. I could try and contact you once I get there. Maybe you trace my call or something? Anyway, darling, I have to go. Sorry, I could not help. Oh. This is an automated reply. You've reached Stephen Heck, Esquire. I'm currently doing things of extreme importance and I'm unlikely to check my mail in the near future. Don't despair, I have a large quantity of narcotics hidden in my anus in case I'm buried alive. Heck. Okay. All right, we need to go see Sahid. Meet with Sheikh Ali Sahid. 
determine what else he knows concerning Helbeck and the missiles, then either enlist his aid or finish your mission in Saudi Arabia by eliminating him and his men. Hi, I'm back. Thanks for the info. Bang, 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 bang. Welcome, Agent Thornton. This is the meeting I spoke of long ago in Saudi Arabia, I believe. I have much to share with you. Is it about Halbeck? A portion of it is, yes. The rest concerns its partner, your Alpha Protocol program. But that, that will cost you. I don't have much more to give, Shahid. And I did spare your life before. You know as well as I do, these events that Helbeck has set in motion, they are not well researched. They are conflicts. And then there are wars. What they have started, it is a fire that will sweep the globe. And that concerns you? When these events will make my country suffer more than it deserves? Yes. And when another may shoulder the rightful blame? Again, yes. Rightful blame. Indeed. Are you prepared to betray your own country, Agent Thornton? When I speak of blame, it is the United States that is the one responsible for these events. Eh, fuck I've come this far. And I'm already acting against its best intentions, apparently. And you have no doubts on this? No. After that missile nearly obliterated me in Saudi. It's easy to tell who your friends are and who needs to die. Very well. You should know the Alpha Protocol you are under. It is designed for such abuse, and you are a victim of it. I know, but I walked into it, and it's my job to fix it. I see. But you have come for help, or simply to call a favor due. I have information that should be of use to you in hurting Halbeck. Accounts, transactions, and knowledge of their involvement with your program. And of course, the missile codes you asked for. Although I fail to see what use they are to you. That's a start. A start? Yes. I need you to broadcast something for me. I have a suspicion that's going to cause quite a stir where I'm headed. Agent Thornton contacted Sheikh Al Sahid for information to bring down Halbeck. Sahid reiterated the events set in motion are more dangerous than Halbeck knows. Rather than raise global tensions, their acts will trigger a real world war. Thornton agreed to use Shahid's information to bring down Halbeck and Alpha Protocol. Now fuck those guys. They're dicks. Well, there really isn't a whole lot left. Unfortunately, I ain't really gonna be... Steel pocket inserts. Oh, actually... I'm gonna need some beefy old armor. Beefy, beefy armor. Really beefy armor. Beef, beef armor. Preferably made of metal and death. Super beefy armor. Ba 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 ba. What do we got? So this gives me 55 endurance. That gives me 60. This gives me 75, however, it still only gives me 3 upgrade slots. But it also gives me more inventory space.
damage reduction. Med kits. I'm gonna need to buy some more med kits. So I can buy, I can stockpile. That's what I can bring with me. Ooh, fuck, God, Christ, fuck, that's motherfucking. Ooh, that, wait, no, oh wait, that's 60 some fucking thousand. about all we can really do so I need to pause really quick and I'll be right back alrighty quick diversion one more thing I need to do We'll be able to get a big shotgun, but where do I want one of these? Close. All right. So the written. Take that. Anything that increases the shot grouping.
was that was a an accessory. I mean, if we're gonna go in, might as well go full ham. Didn't realize I had one of those. Eh, whatever. Don't know how many it'll let me take, so need to put the accessory bits on that. Okay. Surrender to Sean Darcy, allowing yourself to be captured by Alpha Protocol so they can take you to the Gray Box. From there, you'll be on your own, so make sure you've settled all your affairs before you give yourself up. This is your last chance as a free man to take action. Z should... Hmm. Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Are you safe? Probably safer than you. Mike, if this doesn't work... Goodbye, me. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? Oh, SMG and assault rifle, that's what hers does? Yeah. Infiltrate Alpha Protocol facility and complete your mission. It's going to take all your skill and probably a lot of firepower, but World War III is the cost if you don't succeed. You've allied with Z, who oddly enough seems like she'll meet you at the location. Rendezvous with her as soon as possible. Omen Deng and Ronald Sung have set up a server and are waiting for you to transfer intel as quickly as intel to quickly pass on to the government officials in their area. Ensure that they receive evidence damaging the U.S. only. So, here we are. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. 
Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It was a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? I told him I was in for the excitement. I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. And the women, of course. I'm not sure we need a cowboy cowboy. You need someone, or I wouldn't be here. Was it all you expected, Mike? Looking back, the thrills, the women, the intrigue, was it all worth it? Or did your expectations not match the reality? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. Do you know what I like most about our relationship, Henry? It's these special moments, you and I, talking about the world. It's really cozy. So when you're asking me if it's all worth it, not yet. But it will be when I look back on this years from now and get this beautiful wave of nostalgia. Never mind then, Thornton. Seems... I'm not done. What I'm gonna remember most is how you thought you had it all under control before this little plan of yours came crashing down around you. All right, Thornton. I suppose you're bored of these questions anyway. Frankly, so am I. So if there's nothing else... In Saudi Arabia, someone gave away my coordinates, tried to kill me. They did it for you. Who helped you? I'm sorry? Who was the mole? Mike, who wasn't the mole? If anyone betrayed you, I think the betrayal wasn't what you think it was. It allowed you to survive, when in fact, you should have died there with Shaheed. And that, Agent Thornton, is the truth. So when you think back, Poor Madison St. James. Sung's presidency in danger, the riots in Taipei, cutting off my weapons trafficking in Moscow, and that airliner and its passengers burning to death as they hit the ground. And then you killing the only man who could have testified to my involvement, Ali Shaheed. The truth died with him. I've set the world on a new course. Helbeck's numbers are going to skyrocket. Our technology will be part of every military contract and army in the world. Of course. You've got it all figured out. After all, Leyland, you know everything, right? If this is another one of your bluffs, Thornton, then lay your cards on the table. I can't say I care for that tone of yours. I take responsibility for what happened at the museum. But the way you tried to set Omen and I up in Taipei, I don't think you realized we'd actually talk before we killed each other. I know who was behind your weapons trafficking in Moscow. I know about your connection to Surkov and how Breko was set up to take the fall. If you think Shahid is dead, why don't you just wait until his next video broadcast? Shahid? But you killed him. The missile on the convoy. Oh, the one that didn't kill me, either? Leyland, come on. It's taken you this long to realize you made a mistake? You don't know what you've done. All these plans of yours aren't going to cause a cold war, they're going to cause a real one. And I know that's something you don't want. Spare me your lectures, Thornton. You're a civil servant, while I run a multinational company. Your evaluations of world events... <laughs> this conversation has outlived its usefulness, I think. Although, one last thing I'm curious about. Since you have every angle covered, what happened to that footage, Mike? The one of the airliner you had in your possession? It's safe. Oh, you mean with Scarlet? What? You mean safe with Scarlet. That's who you gave it to. I didn't say that. No, she did when we asked. She's here, you know. She was resistant at first, but, well. Bullshit, you don't have her here. She'd run circles around you. Perhaps, perhaps both of us. I'll have her tortured if I have to, make no mistake about it. Who knows what sorts of secrets she could reveal. But enough about her. You've lost all your efforts for nothing. You can't stop us. If you say so, who am I to contradict you? You're a confident man, Agent Thornton, but there's no place for you to run now. Soon, all trace of this facility will be erased, and you along with it. After it never really existed in the first place. Leyland? Hmm? What is it? 
You've got something on your tie. Childish. Maybe, but it's a start. A little taste of the humiliation to come. If that's all you've left, Thornton, I overestimated you. Of course you did. See, when all's said and done, you're gonna be the media's next best friend, Leyland. I promise you. Amusing. Not really. Well then, you'd best get to it, Mr. Thornton. You have an hour. I look forward to your efforts. You know, if they just killed me right then and there, this could all be fixed. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. Well done. I don't like to brag. Not according to your records. Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albeck, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Not a chance. The offer is out of the question, then? Goodbye, Agent Thornton. Perhaps we'll see each other again soon. I got a shotgun full of fire somewhere on my person or in my things or something. Doc will be along in just a bit to administer your meds. Nice knowing you, Thornton. Yeah, you know, because shooting me would just be a little more efficient, but no, you have to be Saturday morning cartoon evil. Michael, darling. I was wondering why you were tied up, although I had not expected the reason to be so literal. Z, good to see you. You'll have to excuse me if I don't get up. Oh, you will rise to the occasion, Michael, I am sure. It is good you have time to rest with all this trouble going on. This bed, is this is how you woke up here, yeah? The restraints were a little weaker the first time, and I'm not doped up. The restraints? Hmm. Are they too tight? Yeah, they're chafing. Oh, that is a shame. So is there a reason you swung by? I'd offer you a chair, but... I am here because I never got the chance to tell you my feelings. And now you have no choice but to listen. Great. Why, Michael, I never thanked you. Humiliating Conrad like that. A girl dreams of such things happening to her boss. Good. If you want to thank me, then let me go. No. Quite yet, I think. Michael, I have a, a confession to make. Ever since we met, I have had a certain fondness for you. You are so eager. Okay. Mm, it is a shame to see such a fine specimen restrained like this. I am tempted to set you free. I wouldn't want to get in the way of temptation, though I'm a little curious as to why. I do not like Marburg, and he has paid me already. I'm free to leave, but you... you are not. It is not fair. So, I will let you go. In a moment. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Relax, darling, but not too much. Oh, and I thought I might have to work harder. You would if I wasn't tied down. Shh. Good. Now, no more talking. <laughs> I get more endurance out of it. Oh. Now, can you let me go? Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael, I unlocked your wrists five minutes ago. You were too busy holding on to your bed to notice. I am flattered. I have done what I must do. 
Now, you must go do what you must do. Maybe there's something to be said for experience. Hmm. I wonder if the camera was recording. <laughs> what the hell is going on in there? You look naked without your weapons. They are in the locker nearby. Get dressed, and let us start the killing. Hey, my beard grew back. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna need the health. Yeah, what what, is, what we got here? Real men don't hide. <laughs> you completed 15 missions where you raised an alarm and lived to tell about it. Unabated violence is is perfectly acceptable alternative to stealth. <laughs> Profiler. Now, office romance. You turn your working relationship with Mina Tang into a romance. La ladies cannot resist you, nor can you resist the need to romance them. You seduced all the ladies of Alpha Protocol. Well done. Yeah, romance. Oh, savage. You six. Okay, maybe you get do get different things. You successfully romance the enigmatic mercenary Z, assuming that you assuming that being ravaged while strapped to a table counts as romance. Reduce cooldown of fury, room that room sweep, iron will, and hard to kill. Where's the Huh? Endurance return. Oh, okay. Iron will and hard to kill. Oh. Yeah. So Scarlet Mina and yeah, Scarlet Mina and. Uh... Madison give you the endurance. Z actually gives you cooldowns. Where's the fire extinguisher? Oh, hey. Or much better. Now you must get to the global monitoring center and get access to the system and all its secrets. I did not just do that in my medical bay. Bet it smells like cat piss and tuna in there. Damn it. Fucking asshole. Fuck saw me. You're not getting far. I'll be watching you. Hey, cool. We got more stuff I can fuck about. Iron Will. I think I can get a whole lot out of this. Yeah, fuck that. I actually get cooldown bonus to that now. Audio. Oh, god damn it. Fucking Christ, eat a dick. Yeah, they shaved my damn beard off for that interview. Then I got ravaged by murder cougar and grew my beard back instantly. Oh, 
medical stuff. What the fuck do I need money for? This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last nice chance, guys. Back up your files. Looks like I've got a message. Big one. What the hell are all these files? Recordings? Agent Thornton, I am calling to deliver a warning. Judging by your silence, I suspect you have gone into hiding. Oh, man. I've been preoccupied. After the attack on President Sung, we analyzed the camera footage from the security systems and from the news crews attending the rally. This footage is attached. No wonder this file is so large. We have discovered the identity of the assassin. The woman you are traveling with, Scarlet Lake. Uh-oh. We have several recordings that show her with a sniper rifle at the rally. She was well hidden, but she was unable to mask her presence entirely. She is the one who attempted to assassinate President Sung. If you had a hand in this, Agent Thornton, both of you will answer for it. Well, on the bright side, I happen to have a shotgun full of fire. Really? Come on now, people. Let's see. Oh, there you are. Hello, how are you? How are you? You're... Aren't you just... There we are. Let me just get a little beat on your face there. Your little buddies over there. Thought I heard something. Just turn that off. Well, oh, it's just going to constantly go off. Okay, whatever. I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.